Hey everybody, how you doing? Hey, have you ever noticed when you put a straw in your favorite soda that the straw gets a whole bunch of bubbles on it? If you look closely, you can see that the straw gets so many bubbles that it starts actually lifting up out of the cup. How about if you put something else in the soda? I don't know, like a pipe cleaner. Let's see what happens. Man, I think it's very, very bubbly also. Let's try one more thing. How about a candy mint called a Mento? Wow. So lots of bubbles form on the Mento also. You know, the bubbles are made from a gas called carbon dioxide. The soda company puts the carbon dioxide gas in the soda when they make it at the factory. And that's what makes the soda fizzy. But why does the carbon dioxide collect on the straw or the pipe cleaner or the, the glass for, for that matter? You know, if you could look way down at the Mento and the other stuff we put in there, they're, they're not really as smooth as they look. You'd see that it has a lot of tiny little dents in it and scratches, little bumps. So the carbon dioxide molecules collect on these little bumps, these little dents, and form bubbles. You know, there's a pretty cool activity you can do with a bottle of soda and a pack of Mentos. I mean, you guys saw that the Mentos candy had a pretty big surface where a lot of carbon dioxide formed and a lot of bubbles came up. It's easiest to do if you have a tube where you can stack the whole pack of Mentos. We made one out of construction paper and some tape. You slowly and carefully open the bottle of soda and put it down on a flat surface outside where it's okay to get stuff wet with soda. Then you put the open end of your tube of Mentos on a card and place the card directly over the opening of the soda bottle. And when you're ready, remove the card, let all the Mentos drop into the soda, and jump out of the way. Wow, that was cool. Those carbon dioxide molecules sure made bubbles in a hurry. Well, that was really chemistry in action. Hey, see you next time.